We can't talk yet. Come be quiet. <laughs> like I started too soon. Are you guys excited? It's Christmas time. You know, the other day I got lucky. Where I live, they got a big room there in, up in the office area, and they invited everyone who lives in these apartments to come and celebrate Christmas with them. And I got to be Santa Claus. Now, when I, my daughter came over in my apartment and helped me get the outfit on, because, see, I'm not the real Santa Claus, and they put the outfit on and all of that, and I, Susan said to me, she says, Dad, do you feel like Santa Claus? And I says, no. But then we got in the car, and we had to go about less than two blocks to get over to the office where I live in the apartment, and over there. When the doors open up, and these kids, about 20, 25 kids, like your age and a little bit younger, and the minute they seen me coming through the door, they came running down. They had all these tables set up in this big room, and the parents, and they're all sitting. But the kids jump up, come running down, grabbing at my legs. And everything. You know what I felt like then? Santa Claus. And then, they, then, then I went up in the front, and they all came up and sat on my lap and told me what they wanted for Christmas. And the reason I even mention that, because Santa Claus is part of our Christmas, isn't it? We like gifts. We like giving presents to us. We like all of that. And I do, too. I like seeing Santa Claus over in the department stores or in the malls. I like even playing now. I did that two other times way many years ago in my life. But I like, and I decided, ask them, can I be Santa Claus if I'm okay next year? And they said, yes. I like that. But I'm also very aware of what Christmas is really, really about. And inside this bag, I have something. Now, this is a bag I take in my car sometimes if I'm traveling because I can put cold stuff and it keeps it cold. But I got something else in there. If I can get the right zipper. Hey, Elliot, where's that zipper at? Bum, 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 bum. Well, I'm never going to use this again. <laughs> Come on. It's oh, it's in the middle. <laughs> See, that's one thing about getting older. You forgot where you, the zipper's at. Inside there, I have Santa Claus. Santa Claus. There he is. Santa Claus knows what the real Christmas is also. You see Santa Claus is kneeling there, and there's Jesus. Because Christmas really is Jesus. We get all kinds of presents, but I want to tell you, kids, and I know that. Yes. It's Jesus' birthday. It's Jesus' birthday. Maybe we can get Carol when I'm done. She can play happy birthday for Jesus because she did that on my birthday. Maybe we can sing happy birthday. You would like to do that? I didn't plan on that, but maybe Carol can do happy birthday and we can do that. Okay? But anyhow, it's Jesus' birthday. And, I, and you know, I'm going to get some gifts, I know. And I also know that my grandkids and my great-grandkids and my daughter, they're going to get gifts because I wrapped them all and I'd sit in there for them to get on Christmas Day. And they'd be at my place on Christmas Day and they would get these gifts and they would bring stuff. And I like all of that. But I'm certain of this one thing. If I didn't get no gifts at all, I got the most important and the best gift of all, and that is Jesus Christ. He was born in that manger. He just like they show in there with Santa Claus, in the manger, lay in there. And you and I, I, I was thinking about this coming here. You and I, when we were born, and when my kids were born, and that, my first daughter, Lynn, was born after midnight. Okay? And I... When I left there, and they, after I seen the baby and everything, and, and it was time for me to go back, go home, get a little sleep, and come back there the next day. When I left there, guess what I did? I went and stopped at a restaurant. It was about 1, 2 o'clock in the morning. It was open. I went in there. Why, you, why did I go in there? Did I want eggs? I actually had eggs. Do I want something to eat? Not really. I wanted to tell somebody that I am a father. And I got a daughter. I want to tell someone. That's how good. Well, imagine when Jesus was born and those shepherds are out there. They didn't have Joseph going and telling them, but angels from above came down and telling those, she telling those shepherds that Jesus was born, the best gift of all. And what did they do? Like I did, they went running telling other people and going to the place where Jesus was at laying in that manger. Exciting. So I got a suggestion to you. The best 
Christmas is Jesus Christ. Go like the shepherds did. Run and tell someone else about Jesus and that he was born, that he is their Savior also. And it's the best gift you could give them as is the best gift that you have, Jesus. Santa Claus says, take time out to give thanks and say, yes, Jesus, our Lord and Savior. Amen? Can we pray? Dear God, you give us so much in life. You give us so much, much more than any of us really need. And you keep on doing it day in and day out. But you gave us the best gift of all when in Bethlehem, Jesus was born in that manger. And then when he died on that cross for us, that one day we can be with him and be with him and say happy birthday to him in person. Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we thank you so much. Carol, could we sing happy birthday? Day two. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Jesus. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. If you want to help yourself, there's something over there. <laughs>